diamond. Which you collect this. That's it's silver dollar, but it's a diamond. So. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna create my base. In this base. Do you have an idea going into it? What you're looking? No, I don't. Do you have an I think idea? I, yeah, I have. Mine's gonna be. Um, so I have this cool container. It's actually like separate. It's like a base that's separate from here. Um, and I may actually line some greens inside this and like set it in there so it's got like a little base of greens. But I like the fact that it's got an open base and I'm gonna make this kind of more of a traditional like kind of elegant type look. So I'm gonna use amaryllis, burgundy, like safari sunset and some white orientals and then green. So I'm gonna keep it super simple. Oh, I love that. I think I'm just, I don't really know what's gonna happen with this one yet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with more of like the eucalyptus look. When we green, we I the way that I do it, and I think you do the same thing. I kind of zigzag, so I it's almost like creating like a grid for the other flowers to kind of sit perfectly. Yeah. So I just kind of keep weaving them in and out until they're the good base. And then region. just stripping those greens. Yes, absolutely. So we don't get those in the water. Mm -hmm. And a good cut. The cut is always good, so the water gets in the stem. See, so I already have like a. Ooh, yeah, I, I love just that. weaved it. it, so it's just it's beautiful. Right, little. Oh my goodness! I so I can that. barely see your container. Yeah, because it's all green. Look at. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little wild. You can't you can't really see the container. Look at. Yeah, the container is hidden now. Okay, you know, it's just gonna look like it's flowing out of Love something. It. Love it. <laughs> well, I can't, I can see it from here, but I can't see it on the camera. So yeah. looking down yeah, on Yeah, because you're looking down on it. It's like, where, where did the container go? She just <laughs> has a huge thing of eucalyptus. Yes. And now I'm gonna add some Safari Sunset. Again, this is also called Lupi Dendron. This stuff lasts forever. I love it. I love the color. It's one of my favorites for fall and winter. And again, I strip the green so that there's no greens going into the base. See, and I, mine looks like a star right now. Yeah, I think this arrangement's gonna be organic. That's what we're saying. It's gonna just go with the flow. Yeah, it is. It's like, go with the flow. See, you're doing yours very tailored and very... Yes. And I'm going to go the opposite. <laughs> it's going a little bit more wild. So here's there. the um, oriental lilies that we grow. Um, when we use some of these in this arrangement, again, I'm going for more of like a classic look on this one. <clears throat> and since this is going to be more wild, I'm going to start with putting the filler in next. Normally, I don't do that. But this time I'm gonna add these chocolate limonium here, and then we've got a still be that are gonna go into this with the greens. The reason why I'm gonna do that is because this is gonna be not a tailored look. It's gonna be more of just like, you went out and you gathered a bunch of flowers and you brought them in. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the three green. Three greens going in here. Okay, I'm like loving this. It's awesome. Those yeah. lilies are gorgeous. Right. Yeah. Like, I do know how lucky I am to be able to use. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh. I, I always love have loved white orientals with burgundy amaryllis. I think it's just gorgeous. gorgeous. Like these aren't Let's, open yet, so you can't really see. Oh my goodness, it's, it's going Nick to. Nick made a killer grid. 
It's too good. Too it's good. too good. Well, thank you. You could literally just make this an arrangement with just color and grades. Yeah, which I love. I, it's very woods, woodsy looking. Yeah, a little whimsy, earthy. Little earthy, earthy. It is. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so stunning. That vase is so amazing. I love this vase. I totally. It I, is. Yeah. Because it's wide enough that you can put, but it's like the base is like wide, so it's like you can go out. And right. I love that. And it creates a different vibe than what you normally see with other vases. Right. It's not. You know, it's not. It's classic, but it's not at the same time. Right. It's more modern. It's definitely hard when you create a really good grid. Nicola, watch that <laughs> grid here. Good, 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 good. That thing ain't going nowhere when you're done. Right. Gotta make way. Jesus. Oh, these things are I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. Like I want the flowers to kind of just stand out. Yeah. goodness this is very different than what I normally design so is mine I'm gonna let these be the dancers today the snaps, snaps. snaps are gonna be the dancies all right I'm gonna use your breaking comfort zones today there's none we're doing that all here <laughs> it's like the theme yeah exactly if this year had a theme right? exactly. <laughs> creating I'm keeping open spaces because some of these flowers are gonna open up. And so I'm kind of like giving it space to bloom. Um, the lilies are still gonna open up and these babies are gonna open up. And so I'm really wanting to give it space. I'm not gonna put too much filler or any of the other things in there because I really want it to kind of grow and fill in because it will fill in. It's gonna be huge. Yeah. It's gorgeous. That is still be is stunning. You're leaving room for the butterflies. I love how we did complete opposite things on both things. <laughs> We're masters of that. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go very classic, and I'm like, I'm going to go wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm loving this. It's wild child. I love it. We're going to yeah. name this wild child. Like, the snaps are even, like, coming out directionally. Like, normally I wouldn't do that. Oh, because they're kind of going. Hmm. They're, like, up, and they're out, and they stick out further than the other things in the arrangements. But I think it works. I think it makes it more I love it. I think dimensional, it's awesome. and it looks kind of fun. You can't even see the vessel I have it in, really. <laughs> That's okay. You always talk about <laughs> the lion in the, the container, container hiding I it. I covered so. the whole container this time. <laughs> I am going to go around and collar in this arrangement. That's what I'm doing right now. Yep. So. <laughs> That's the thing about greens. They usually go kind of a long way. You know, you can... Or they, you use a lot to, yeah, which is good, you know, because they're throw these in there. more inexpensive than the flower. <laughs> Around here, we get to use premium lilies for fun. <laughs> I'm just saying it. <laughs> we are so spoiled. <laughs> yes, we are. Just a tiny bit. I just, I always feel that way. I feel very, we are very grateful very that we can use these super. Elite, gorgeous flowers. It, elite is the perfect word for these lilies. They're just oh, gorgeous. Create depth in the arrangement. I think depth is so awesome. Right? Because I like when you can like peek into an arrangement and you see different levels of things. It's like, right. oh, what else is in there? It has a crazy amount of depth in it because it's just very, very... <laughs> Just the color depth is already a lot of depth, yep. you know? So this one was basically more of an elegant kind of look. So I used Safari Sunset, um, Oriental li White Lilies, Amaryllis that are in the top, and I created this space so they have room to grow. Check it out, or room to bloom, I mean. And then I just, you know, like again, I created space so they everything has room to bloom. Because see those? Those lilies right there are still going to open up. So a lot of things are still going to open up. And then I did add a little bit of filler just to kind of create some extra color. And I added some Christmas greens. And there, it's kind of a flowy Christmas green, which is perfect for this arrangement. So, um, and then I did add to the bottom. I added, um, go ahead. 
like uh, some extra greens. I'll probably fill in some more because I think it looks pretty. But Isn't that gorgeous? I'm very happy with this. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is more of a wild type look. We've got seated, or we got, sorry, this diamond silver dollar eucalyptus mm -hmm. with really nice feathery Christmas greens. A stilby's in here, this beautiful stilby. We've got limonium, so there's a lot. It's more of like an organic type feel. And then we've got this gorgeous uh, rose lilies with some little tiny ranunculus in there creating the depths. And we've got these gorgeous snapdragons. Just as kind of a wild child arrangement. Sometimes it's kind of fun to just let it go. And I love the kale in here, just kind of creating a beautiful flow. Really use the um, snapdragons and the ranunculus to kind of make everything dance a little bit and give it more of an organic wild feel in this Christmas arrangement. That is just phenomenal. I just <laughs> can't stop looking at it. It's so gorgeous. There's a lot of things. I think you could look at it for a while. Yeah. There's That's what I love about flowers, though, is.